Uh, I didn't say a lot to the team after the game. Uh, it's not the time or place. The, the, the bottom line is our lack of shot making um, hurt us on the defensive end. And, and we get quiet. We get quiet when we're not making shots. And uh, it's a tough night. I mean, Justin didn't make a three. PJ didn't make a three. We're three or 25 from the three. And we're missing open looks. And uh, the frustration kicks in. And then, and then it, it comes down and it compounds because we're not doing a good enough job keeping the ball in front of us. And so we're going to have to do something different defensively there because we're not into the ball uh, good enough or getting under the way that we need to as the guards and our bigs are not providing enough support when that ball gets driven. And, and when, we're in, when we're doing that, we put ourselves in a position where we're not in position to rebound as well. The rebounding uh, was pretty equal, but at the end of the day, the offensive boards they got, they, they turned into buckets, they turned into threes. And, uh, and, and that's a problem there. But the other big problem is – throughout the conference, when Tamani Kamara's in foul trouble, we're not nearly as good. And so it's no secret. You know, it's hard, it, with, with him, it's hard to win uh, when he's only playing 19 minutes. And, and uh, we, our bigs were in foul trouble from the first TV timeout on today. But uh, it's, it's hard because he, he can provide a lot of things for us. But at the end of the day, whether you're home or whether you're on the road, you gotta make open shots. And uh, we didn't do that. We didn't do that very well. And it affected us on the other end. Thank you. Uh, Coach, they were making um, kind of a deal out. I guess Frank Martin changed up his defense with, with more of a packed in. Yeah, I mean, I mean, is that just a... a, a just yeah, that, I, would say that, I would say they did that because of the lack of respect for our shooting. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 we knew they, they, didn't, they didn't come up and get us at all, really, in that area. But, but at the end of the day, we missed open shots, and um, um, that's a factor, right? We were still getting looks. We were still getting shots. We just weren't knocking them down. And there was some hesitancy. You know, we were hesitating being ready to take the shot uh, on, the, on, on the next pass. And, and um, we just got a little care. We got careless in the first half with the ball. There's no doubt about that. Instead of just letting the game flow. And again, it doesn't matter if you're pressuring or if you're packing it in, you've got to continue to cut. You've got to continue to be ready to shoot. And uh, we didn't do a good enough job of that. Okay, let's have Mike Griffith and then Chip Towers. I just... Excuse me, um, let's have Ryan Curley and then Chip Towers. Hey, Coach, I just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on the shot selection. You know, if with you guys being that cold from three and you, you keep shooting, what do you tell your team in that situation? Well, we, we, made, we made very conscious efforts to go inside, but you still you have to make threes, right? You have to – it has to happen. I mean, if you're going to win, you've got to make open jump shots. But uh, th there were times that we really wanted to go inside. There were times we got it in. There were times that we didn't. We were in the double bonus very, very early in this game. In the second half, I mean. So um, you don't want to take their confidence on shooting the ball. I mean, P.J. Horn and Justin Kyer, those guys have to make threes for us. They just have to. Tonight they didn't. All right, but they, but they have to. I mean, you've, you've still got to have outside shooting or you're going to see tremendous. We already have a couple guys on the court at most times that the other team is not guarding. And then we have a point guard that more often than not they're going to back off on. So you've got to move. You've got to move without the ball. All right. And, and, and you've got to be ready to shoot. And if you just think you're going to be able to play the game inside the three point line, that's not, that's not realistic. You've got to be able to get it swung. You've got to be able to go inside. You've got to be able, but you also got to be able to drive and kick and knock shots down. So the last thing I want them to lose is confidence. But at the end of the day, the results are what they are. We're not making those shots and it affects us on the other end and, and we're not guarding the ball as well. And therefore we lose tonight. Yeah, Coach, I remember you talking about P.J. Horn, and the reason he came here was kind of that corner three. He's 0 for 7 tonight. Uh, you know, I'm not – it looks like a template to me. You're going to get packed in zones, and you're not as big as everybody else, and they're just going to say, shoot. I mean, can you guys shoot? Uh, the, the numbers certainly don't support it. Uh, what, what can you do? Well, I do think the uh, – yeah, I, I'm not going to get into debate on the stats. Our three-point shooting has been better. It hasn't been better the last two games. So, but at the end of the day, uh, the alter there is no alternative to that because of the way they pack in the defense. So it becomes, um, yeah. Do we make shots in practice? Have we made shots in games? Absolutely. We do or we wouldn't take them. 
But the bottom line is we're not making them right now. We didn't make them the other night. So that's why we've got to get movement and, and we've got to make the next pass. We've got to get into the lane and drive and kick it. And uh, that's, that's part of how we have to play. Okay, let's have Mark Weiser and then Augusta Stone. Tom, it looked like uh, Ty McMillan had a good stretch in the first half, maybe regressed in the second half and had that, you know, incident with the huddle. I mean, are you going to stick with him in terms of minutes or, or what's your plan? Yeah, he's, he's, he's got an opportunity every day and, um, and hopefully he'll take advantage of it. And we'd like to get him on the perimeter a little bit more too, because he can shoot the ball. But um, um, definitely, I want to be able to play him and John Ned. Um, but, but again, because we were getting in the bonus and because we were rebounding so poor, um, or I shouldn't say we were rebounding poor. We were getting rebounds too, but they were getting they were getting putbacks and they were getting kick out threes. We tried to stay uh, with some with some more experience in there, but we're going to have to continue to give him opportunities. Hey, coach, you said you wanted to change the lineup a few times now in the past, and after this game, are you still considering those? Yeah, everything I, I consider it all the time. You know, I, I base a lot of things off practice and and things differently like that. And uh, so that's always, that's always going to be an open-ended uh, um, situation for me. All right. Thanks so much, coach. That's all we have time for tonight. Thanks. And we will have a um, transcript. You